The dietary supplement protandem decreases plasma osteopontin, that's a pro-fibrotic factor, and improves markers of oxidative stress in muscular dystrophy MDX mice. Right. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a human disease, and we have a mouse model of it that the origin is very close. The disease looks a bit different in mice than it does in humans. One of the reasons is as the muscles fail, a muscle in a mouse has, has very little stress load because a mouse weighs 20 grams and you weigh 70 kilos or, or more. If you, if you have a metabolic syndrome, maybe a, a lot more than that. <laughs> So, so this disease looks a bit different, but, but it's a very close biochemical model. And what, what was seen here? This was conducted, by the way, by my colleague Brian Singh when he was at the University of Colorado, Denver. As this study was in progress, about to end, he took a new job at Harvard University, Mass General Hospital, and that's where the paper was written. So it's, it's from Mass General and University of Colorado. One of the things we measured was T-bars. And again, every subsequent publication, every peer-reviewed study should harken back to the first one and connect dots with, with studies in between. And this one does. You may recall in our human study published in 2006, protandum decreased T-bars by 40% in humans who didn't have a particular disease. They were just getting older. It, uh, looked at young and old. These are pretty young mice, but they have a disease. They have this muscular dystrophy. Protandum decreased their plasma T-bars by 48%, okay, confirming that. Protandum decreased this pro-fibrotic factor by 57%, right? This is not new either. This was done in the Virginia Commonwealth University study published last November, the one David mentioned in the journal Circulation. And virtually the same kind of result, protandum in rats in that case and in mice in this case, reduced this profibrotic factor by 57%. Here's an enzyme I hadn't talked to you much about, but we actually measured it after that first human trial was published because we still had the samples. There's an important protective anti-atherosclerosis enzyme in your plasma, abbreviated PON1. And it's, use, it's associated with the good form of cholesterol, and it prevents the oxidation of the bad form of cholesterol, which promotes uh, plaque buildup in the arteries. And here is an example. This is not by gene regulation. It's actually by preventing the inactivation of PON1 by by lipid peroxidation products related to T-bars. So T-bars is a bad thing. One of the bad things it can do is inactivate good essential enzymes. So the PON1 in these untreated animals is lower than it should be. When they're treated with protandum, that inactivation is prevented, the PON1 levels rise, and now you have the adequate amount of protection by PON1. Is PON1 important? This is a paper that says low paraoxinase, PON1, predicts cardiovascular events in, uh, in a study conducted of, of patients at risk for heart disease. So, so yes, and I've shown you a similar paper before showing that T-bars elevation also predicts cardiovascular events. Um, this, is, this is a compilation of measurements of uh, PON1 in a number of diseases, and I'm not going to read them all to you, but you can see the first one after the normals, which has a, a level of normalized here of 100%, is the metabolic syndrome, and followed by diseases like autism, type 2 diabetes, a whole bunch of things you can read there. And at the very opposite end of the spectrum is the normal people in our first human study who were treated with protandum. And you can see that their PON1 is significantly elevated above the normal level and way above the level seen in these diseases. And then finally, I want to show you an, a very interesting measure. And I don't know if I think you can see that. OK. These are magnetic resonance images, an MRI, of the calf muscle, the lower leg, of these mice that have this muscular dystrophy. And the upper two panels show 
two of these MDX mice that were treated with protanum. The bottom two panels show MDX mice that were not treated. And I, I don't expect you to be able to read MRIs necessarily, but I want to point out what's different here. You can see there are white areas, and these are probably areas of fibrosis within this muscle called the gastrocnemius muscle, it's your calf muscle, uh, and the corresponding muscle in these animals. And in the upper, level, in the upper uh, protanum treated animals, you can see much less of that. And if you, the computer can measure the areas of white, quantify it, and what you see here is there was a 38% decrease in the protandum treated animals of this so-called anomalous MRI uh, area. But in summary, this study confirmed things you already know. Protandum decreases T-bars. Protandum decreased osteopontin, a pro-fibrotic marker. Protandum increased this new enzyme I'm talking about, parooxinase 1, PON1, a protective anti-atherosclerosis enzyme, and protandum decreased the anomalous MRI signals in the leg muscles of these animals. So thank you very much for your attention, and I hope you learned something. This paper, it's an important paper, it's a mouse model of another disease, and you might say, why Duchenne muscular dystrophy? There are only about 3,000 boys in the United States of America that have DMD, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It's a gen genetic disease that only affects males. Muscles waste, they turn to scar tissue, they become fibrotic. So again, this is the recurrent theme you see in different models, different diseases, same mechanism in part. And what was seen here that after six months on protandum, these mice have exactly the same gene defect that these boys, <coughs> boys with DM DMD have. They showed T-bars, lipid oxidation reduced by 48%. Does that sound familiar? The humans had a 40% reduction. Osteopontin was reduced by 57%. The previous VCU's heart study also showed osteopontin reduced. That's the trigger, the message for scar tissue. And the MRI signal, magnetic resonance imaging, if you have a boy with DMD and you do an MRI, you can see changes in the muscle. Your T-bars went down, osteopontin went up. Both of those were decreased in the protandum treated animals. And if you look at an MRI on a mouse, here's what the pictures look like on a mouse that has mus muscular dystrophy. You can see those areas in the, <clears throat> in the yellow circles. That's simply abnormal regions of a muscle. The muscle should be uniform. This should look like a slice of ham. This is an image through the thigh muscle of a mouse. And <clears throat> you can see those anomalous re regions. And these are protandum treated mice. And you can see those bright white, white spots have virtually disappeared. But the important thing, if you have muscular dystrophy, you don't want those anomalous regions. You want to see clean looking, normal looking muscle.